हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट न्यू वीडियो अपडेट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब वन ऑफ द की डिविजन्स ऑफ फार्मकोलॉजी एंड दैट इज फार्मको काइनेटिक्स फार्मको काइनेटिक्स इन शॉर्ट डिस्क्राइब एज वॉट द बॉडी डज टू ए ड्रग दिस कैन बी रिफर टू द क्वान्टिटिव स्टडी ऑफ ड्रग मूवमेंट इन थ्रू एंड आउट ऑफ द बॉडी so we can say that pharmacokinetics is the quantitative study of drug movement from the administration side of drug to through the body and out of the body here i have listed five fundamental pathways of drug movement inside the body so pharmacokinetics is all about what body does with drug absorption is done by body distribution is done by body metabolism is done done by body excretion is done by body so whatever is done by body with drug falls under pharmacokinetics in short you can remember it as adme absorption relate to the movement of chemical or drug from a administration side to the blood stream or circulation not only the fraction of drug the administered dose that gets absorbed but also the rate of absorption is important There are four ways through which a drug can cross a membrane and enter the blood stream. First one is a passive diffusion. When a molecule moves from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, second one is facilitated diffusion. When a molecule moves from an area of high concentration to one of low concentration with the help of carrier protein in the membrane. third one is active diffusion in this diffusion energy is needed so it can be described as an energy dependent process during which a molecule requires energy in the form of atp to cross a membrane and fourth was one is endocytosis when a larger drug is transferred through a membrane via invagination or introversion of the membrane next part important pathway of the pharmacokinetics is distribution when a drug is absorbed and enter the systematic circulation it is naturally distributed throughout the fluid and tissue in the body other way we can say that once a drug enters into systematic circulation by absorption or direct administration here direct administration means iv injection it must be distributed into interstitials and intracellular fluids the next pathway of pharmacokinetics is metabolism drug metabolism is the biotransformation of drug by organs or tissues primary sites of the drug metabolism are liver kidney skin or digestive tract the last but not least pathway of pharmacokinetics is excretion excretion is the process by which the metabolized compound is eliminated or removed from the body most drug excretion occurs with urine or feces other excretion methods includes through the lungs or sweat through the skin thanks for watching